My name is Marco Bertolini. I'm director for product management in the system uh, product unit in the optical networking uh, uh, division of Nokia. And today I'm going to talk about how we can use PC6S in the different uh, optical networking platform for the best use of our uh, customers. A customer will decide that among six generation coherent solutions as a function of their ability to deliver the best cost and performance in each and every application. So we designed the PSC6S module so that it can be very flexible, supporting different bit rates and different uh, baud rates for all terrestrial applications so that we can optimize the all customer blueprints ranging from DCI to metro, regional, long haul and subsea applications. PSC6S module is a single one and will be implemented on all the PSS platforms that we have. So we will start with PSS and PSIM to provide the uh, transponding solution and then we will extend that to the switching family, to the OTN switching family PSSX and also to the uh, subsea platform of our colleagues at ASN. We designed uh, the PSC6S module to fit in all the existing platforms that we have. This provides a significant value to our customers in that they don't have to upgrade to new hardware elements, they don't have to introduce new systems, they can just introduce new cards and upgrade the software to the latest release to be able to use PSC6S. That also provides value in terms of carbon footprint in the sense that there is no waste, we don't have to throw away shelves, there is, no, there is full protection of the investment of our customers, and that combines with a reduction in the power per bit of about 40% compared to the previous generation to provide a very green solution. We carefully selected the, uh, the modes of PSC6S to be optimized to operate in 150 gigahertz uh, grid for terrestrial applications. Why that's important? Because most of our customer deployments are based on 50, 75 or 100 gigahertz spacing. So 150 gigahertz spacing fits very well with that and it allows them to simply introduce new channels together with the existing ones without forcing them to redesign the network, to move channels around, which is a very complex and time consuming action. The PC6S cards will be managed by WSNOC just like any other card and system we have in our portfolio. Customers will be able to exploit all the functionality of WSNOC with the new cards. We have designed the open interfaces on top of the PC6S card based on NETCOF interfaces and young models so that customers that wish to deploy them in a disaggregated fashion can also do so.